Hi everyone, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. I'm on my way up to date Daily Moon Park to watch this take on Sligo at home. Um, it's our first game of the season and I really can't wait for this one. It's going to be an absolutely packed Daily Moon Park. There are so many people still looking for tickets. Um, it's completely sold out. It's going to be buzzing. <clears throat> the club shop is full too with merchandise and everything again. The bars are back open so there's going to be you know, a really big buzz around the ground. So... I'm re it's gonna be my first time seeing this, shall we say, new balls team in action with our new silence and all that, as I haven't been able to get to any preseason games. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this one is going to go. Um, currently at the time of recording, there is no team news out with balls at the minute. Um, so, so I think everyone's fitting, you know, able to go. Um, yeah. So I'm really looking forward to this one. So I'll see you all there. Oh, 
Good day, good day, Limon. Good day. So, 2-2 draw against Dundalk, um, you know, a point at home and the first game of the season, um, and absolutely packed out the Animal Park. It was brilliant to see so many familiar faces back again. It was brilliant to have the bars back open, uh, full capacity. Um, you know, the buzz around the ground was great before the, the game kicked off. The buzz in the ground was great. It was brilliant to see so many away fans as well. Um, it's just it was so happy to be back and you know have it back normal again. It was, it was class, really, really good. Um, then, obviously, you know Flores and um, Promise got the goals for Bowes. Um, yeah, it was great to see Flores get off the mark and get his first goal for the club on his debut as well. Brilliant. Um, didn't last the full game. Got off in the 60, 68 ish minute. I think it was around that mark anyway. But um, yeah, an okay game. He didn't overly impressed me but he certainly wasn't a Bastion Huey anyway on his debut. Um he definitely did a lot more right things than anything else. Um he's run a good few passes together too. He carried the ball well and he got forward when he could. Um you know Promise was a workhorse then up front. He was pressing from the front. He was trying to make things happen and you know he got amongst the goals himself too and he'd be disappointed to have a few more. I suppose looking at the game as a whole then the goals we conceded were shocking. Uh they were very poor to concede them ones and it's terrible to it's leading from a set piece, but it is what it is. And you know, over another day, we might have had a penalty as well. I haven't seen the replay back, I haven't been able to watch that back, but I saw I'm not sure if that actually was a penalty or not. But from where I was sitting, it looked like it was. Um, Jeff Freeman made a number of questionable decisions, he gave a lot of things in Doc's way, and um, he gave a lot of throw ins, freeze their way when I thought really they probably should have been going our way, which wasn't, you know. I suppose looking at the players then, um, obviously Talbot was in goals. I thought Feely, he played well right back. Um, obviously Lyons is gone, so Feely's probably going to play right back now. He's going to be our starting right back. I thought he did well. I thought Finney had a shocking game. I thought it was very bad, very poor. But he needs to quickly move on from this now and step up. And I know there's a player there and he needs to show what he can do. Because he can defend and he can do well. So he needs to step up now and do something. Horton was actually quite confident and he was quite good beside him. Um, I thought his passing was good, his first touch was good. Um, yeah, he got in the way, he made interceptions. Uh, obviously, I thought the backs as a whole could have done a lot better. I thought Wilson had an okay game, he could have done a bit better too, but look, they all could have really. You know, if you look at the, if you look at this midfield, you've got the likes of Dawson, you've got Flores, you know, like, um, like they're two really good midfielders, but I, I think. You know, with Ali Koo as well, like we're just lacking defensively, really. Like, you know, the dog kind of got through the third of the pitch on us easy enough. Wardy at one stage, key ward for them now, got from their own, outside their own box up to between our halfway line and box. No one stopped him. Everyone was looking at him, ball watching. Ball watching was a big thing for us too. I think we were watching balls just go in and do nothing about it. Um, we got a lot of balls crossed in, we didn't deal with them, we didn't do anything with them. Um, Looking at Malin then, he did okay. Um, hopefully he grows into this season, does a lot more. Obviously we were missing the likes of Kelly, we were missing Burt. Um, Tuarek was actually on the other side, you know, making his competitive second debut for the club. It was great to see him back. He's a smashing player, he got stuck in, he might won a lot of headers. He might try to make things happen, he used his pace, he stretched the dog's defence, he ran at them. And you know, when we ran at the dog, they kind of froze a little bit and didn't like that at all. But, um, I think the game for us is kind of lost in the midfield. We were very sloppy at times, very, very sloppy. They weren't getting back defending right. Um, they were hitting it long and missing it. And the loft just kept coming at us and coming at us and coming at us. And look, hopefully, you know, I guess Pats now will be a different story. And, you know, we'll have a few other players back that, you know, didn't play last night. Obviously, Cassidy is another player who didn't get on junior. So that's four already that could potentially start on a different day. So it's going to be interesting to see. But, um, Look, I suppose a point against Dundalk, first game of the season, a few city goals we conceded, a draw against a, you know behind the full house in Daily Mount. It's not all doom and gloom. It's the first game of the season. Just it's such a long season ahead. I will take the points and we'll go on to Pats and hopefully do mix up. Excuse me, make something happen there. So thanks everyone for watching the vlog. Um, please like the video and subscribe if you're new and hit the bell notifications. Let us know what you think of it below in the comment section. 
Um, I will apologise, the vlog mightn't be as good as previous ones, I had to ration my phone battery, um, I forgot my power bank, but um, yeah, so thanks everyone for watching.